everybody welcome back to another episode today i'm excited because why i am doing my chocolate mocha finally white chocolate mocha if you missed out the other mocha that i made on my youtube channel the link is above so go check out that mocha recipe so today we are going to make our white chocolate mocha recipe and you saw so when um i am going to also make the caramel to go on top of it so but i'm not going to make that video in it but uh, you will see the caramel in this video look out for that caramel video after this video so let's get started with today's recipe white chocolate mocha let's go i'm excited i'm really excited to do this so <laughs> So the ingredients we're going to make this drink would be the whipping cream we have the white chocolate some chocolate bars and we have the coffee most important so to begin i am going to use one cup of Hershey's white chocolate and two cups of heavy whipping cream place two cups of that into the container and one cup of the Hershey's white chocolate and you could use any type of chocolate I'm just using chocolate chips because uh, it breaks down faster and it's just easier all right and I'm going to place this in a water bath now you can actually place this in a pot of the stove but because the, the cream is so thick and I don't want it to burn I just think it's more wise to do it in a, a water bath instead than putting it actually on the stove. All right. This is very costly. The chocolate chips is fifty dollars, and the milk, the whipped cream. That was almost $60. Yes. So you can't afford to waste any ingredients. This is in TT prices, okay? And now I'm going to place it into a pot on the stove. And I'm going to melt the chocolate. I had this on medium high. And I just keep stirring, stirring until it was melted. I don't want to leave it unattended. I will just keep stirring and... At no time at all it didn't even take me 10 minutes to get all of this melted really quickly so once that is done this is what it will look like really creamy and nice and now let's start to make our whipping cream we're going to use the whipped cream to place on top of it I am also doing some caramel but that would be a whole separate video okay so the whipped cream i placed some of the heavy cream in a glass and i am just going to whip it till i get that nice thick consistency so we have the consistency that whipped cream should be this is what you want it's not moving and going anywhere nice and fluffy so i'm going to place this in the refrigerator until we're ready for it at the ending all right so we just made as you saw the whipped cream with the heavy cream we just whip it until we get that nice thick creamy consistency we just made the white sauce and i have some very strong strong coffee so now let's put everything together now i place the whipped cream that i just made in the refrigerator until we are ready for it at the ending all right one other ingredient we need here which is our milk so let's get the milk all right so we have our milk now you could use full cream, you could use, I am using skim milk. You can use full cream, all right? All right, so let's get started. Firstly, you want to add it with the chocolate syrup that we just made. I want plenty. <laughs> then you want to add two, um, two ounces of coffee. Really strong, this is really, really strong. 
and you want to add one cup of milk I'm adding my one cup of milk now you can throw this up we're not going bougie here we're just doing it you know like myself who don't have an espresso machine at home and just want that nice white chocolate mocha drink just pouring our milk now let's stir this baby up stir 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 this baby up stir and now let's add the whipped cream <laughs> so let's go and get the whipped cream in the refrigerator so as i mentioned we just made our own whipped cream so i'm just going to spoon it up and put it in it and to finish that off I'm just going to use sort of chocolate bar with all the ingredients I'm going to crush up the chocolate bar and sprinkle some of it and that's the end of that Let's and let me show you what it looked like before I add the caramel. Actually, I didn't think about doing the caramel at this point. It's afterwards I was like, I think I should add some caramel to this. Because the coffee was really, really strong. And I didn't add any kind of sweetener to the whipped cream. So the only sweetener there is the chocolate syrup. So I decided to add some caramel. So let's make some caramel. But sadly, it wouldn't be in this video. Look out for that in my next recipe on this awesome channel, how we made the caramel. So stay tuned for that recipe. So as I said, let's add some caramel to this and then give this drink a taste test. Let's go. You see how nice and smooth this caramel is. Nutty yet sweet yet slightly bitter. Ugh. So now let's give it a... Mmm, coffee is really strong and nice and you all know how much I love choc um, coffee and really strong coffee and all that chocolate, the white chocolate, the chocolate with the nuts, oh my gosh, wonderful, wonderful. And guys, the homemade um, chocolate sauce that I made and my whipped cream was a really success. Thanks for watching another episode of Chocolate and Chit Chat and I hope you give this easy recipe a try. It's worth it, especially if you love coffee and Starbucks drink. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to look out on Saturday for my caramel recipe and don't forget to check out my previous recipe. So thanks again for stopping by and your constant support is always appreciated.